Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use your screensaver as a desktop wallpaper. So normally you have your, you know, choice of however many desktops, and while it's fine for a while and you can always find new pictures, uh, once in a while you might want to change it up, get a little more uh, fancy with your desktop. So what you can do is you can actually set your desktop background as a screensaver. Now there's two ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you both of them today. The first way is using Terminal, so if you don't like running third-party programs in the background or whatever, you can use Terminal. It's a little more difficult because you have to run lines of code every time you want to do it, and when you close Terminal, the background changes back to your regular wallpaper, but it also works. So I'm going to show you that first just in case you'd want to do it that way. I'm going to open up a new Finder window, and I'm going to go to Macintosh HD, Applications, Utilities, and then of course terminal once I can find it here. Now there's two rather lengthy lines of code that you're gonna have to paste into terminal so I'm gonna have them below the video uh, if you want to get them and I'm, I'm just gonna paste them in here but you'll have to type CD space and then I'm going to copy and paste this first line of code. All this does is set it to the directory with your screensavers in them and now that you're in that directory there's a second line of code that you paste that activates the screensaver and the screensaver that's active is the one that you have currently set in system preferences. So I paste this and you can see once I hit enter that my background turns into my screensaver. Now if you notice a drop in frames, a little bit of lag, it is kind of CPU intensive and especially depending on what kind of screensaver you have set up and plus I do have three monitors that are all pushing this as well and I have several different applications running on top. So it probably will slow down your system a little bit. Now to stop this all I have to do is hit control C and it's done. And that's kind of the issue with this. You always have to have terminal, you know, open somewhere, even if you minimize it. And if you hit control C, it's done. If you quit terminal, it's over as well. So I figured there had to be a better way to go about this. So I found this neat application called Wall Saver. You can get it from wallsaverapp.com. And you can just hit download here. It's a small file. And it does pretty much the same thing as terminal, but it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about uh, copying and pasting code. So here I've got wall saver open and all I have to do is hit activate and it'll do the same thing as terminal. But now you can see it's not using the same screensavers I had before. That's because if you go into preferences, you can actually choose the screensaver you want. So let's say I want spectrum instead. I can select that. Then I can hit restore and then activate again and it'll activate it with the new screensaver in mind. So this could actually be pretty useful if you had like an RSS type of thing going on and you wanted to see your RSS feeds as they come in. And now the nice thing about wall saver is I can close the window and it appears that the program is not running, uh, but yet it still runs and that's an advantage it has over using terminal. So whatever methods you want to do is fine. If you just want to do something temporary, it might be easier just to use terminal once. Uh, but either way, there's two methods you can do. And there's actually other third party programs out there that do the same thing as this does. I just found that this one worked pretty nice, so I chose that one. So there's how you can set your desktop wallpaper as a screensaver in Mac OS X. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.